friends, welcome back to Storytime. This is week one of our summer reading program. If you haven't registered yet, you can call us. That way you can get eight crafts to do at home after watching our videos. To start off our story time, let's sing our hello song. We're going to say hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Sing along with me, okay? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hi, everybody. So for week one of our summer reading program, we're going to be learning a new nursery rhyme. Each week we'll do a new one. That way we can learn eight by the end of the summer. So to help us out with our nursery rhyme of the week, we have a special guest called Puss in Boots. He's at the front of all your summer reading program bags. And he's here to help us learn Old King Cole. If you got your registration bag already, you have a list of all our nursery rhymes. So you can say this one with me or practice it later. Or just listen to it because it's really fun and kind of tricky to say. So let's sing Old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe and he called for his bowl and he called for his fiddlers. Three. Every fiddler had a fiddle and a very fine fiddler had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers. Three. That was old King Cole. So we're going to say bye bye to Puss in Boots and we'll see him next week to learn our nursery rhyme of the week. So now that we practiced Old King Cole, we're going to read a book together called The King of Too Many Things. This king has too many things. Once upon a time in a small kingdom with an even smaller king. This is his kingdom. Jasper had a good thing going. It was fun being the king. Every morning he ruled from his throne of pillows and each afternoon he spent a few hours reading, coloring, and having a snack with Greg. This is Greg, his dog. It was nice. But one morning, Jasper woke up wanting more. His books seemed boring, his crayons were dull, even his favorite gold crayon. You know what we need, he said to the wizard, a dragon. A dragon, asked the wizard. Sure, said Jasper, dragons are exciting. Everything's better with dragons. I'm not so certain, said the wizard, but Jasper was the king and poof, we have a dragon, a big pink dragon. One exciting dragon. The dragon dazzled. He did loop-de-loops in the throne room. He shot through the window and into the sky. But as Jasper watched, a rose bush down in the courtyard burst into flames. Suddenly, there were tiny fires everywhere because dragons breathe fire. Yikes, Jasper shouted, dashing outside. This is not what I meant by exciting. Do something, turn him off. Sorry, said the wizard. I don't know how to turn off a dragon. Jasper stared at the flames. Then he snapped his fingers and he said, I know, robots. Robots, asked the wizard. Robots will stomp out the fire, said J Jasper. Robots will save the day. Robots will be terrific. I'm not so certain, said the wizard. But Jasper was the king, so poof. And we got two terrific robots. The robots did put out the fires. They also trudged and trampled everything in sight. Small children ran away in fear. These robots are a problem, cried Jasper. Try something else. Like what? asked the wizard. Superheroes, said Jasper. Superheroes, asked the wizard. Jasper nodded. Superheroes can fix anything. They're super. I'm not so certain, said the wizard, but Jasper was the king, so poof, superheroes.
three super superheroes. Catch that dragon, said Jasper. Stop those robots. The superheroes tied up the robots. They put the dragon on a handy leash. They even took Jasper for a piggyback ride. But when the kids of the kingdom saw Jasper flying, they wanted a ride too. Soon, boys and girls were shouting all over the town. They wailed from the trees and porches. They refused to eat their dinners. Me, pick me. The wizard developed a headache. This is not super anymore, said Jasper. Now, what? Don't look at me, replied the wizard. You're the king. I know, kittens. Kittens, asked the wizard. Everyone loves kittens, said Jasper. Kittens will stop the wailing. We need kittens. Couldn't we just put everyone in a timeout, asked the wizard. Jasper shook his head. Kittens, he insisted. Kittens are cute. The wizard could hardly argue with that. Anyway, Jasper the, was the king, so poof, we got some kittens everywhere. Meow? One by one, the kids stopped wailing because it's true. Everyone loves kittens. But Jasper still had a problem, or four. The kittens teased the dragon who spit sparks. The kittens pounced the robots who clanked furiously. The kittens climbed the superheroes, shredding their tights. And the kittens licked the butter. Then there was Greg. Oh, poor Greg, cried Jasper. This won't do. Wizard! But the wizard was nowhere to be seen. Wizard? So Jasper gra grabbed Greg and ran away from the kittens and the mess and the noise and the fire and the clanking. He ran all the way back to the castle and his quiet throne of pillows. A few minutes later, there was a knock at the door. Who is it? Asked Jasper. I'm Janie, said Janie, from down the street. I'm just returning your kitten. He makes me sneezy. Oh, wow, I made a big mess, huh? Asked Jasper. You sure did, said Janie. A real catastrophe. I'm sorry, said Jasper. How can I make it up to you? Well, I could use a snack, said Janie. When Jasper returned, Janie was busy and Greg was sound asleep. After a while, Jasper looked up from his drawing. Hey, he said, this is nice. It is nice, said Janie. But do you know what might be even nicer? Jasper shook his head emphatically. Nothing, he said, absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Nice is nice enough. But you're the king, said Janie. You could wish for anything. Don't you want anything more? Jasper considered her question. Well, he admitted at last, I guess there is one thing. I could use some help cleaning up all that mess. And so it was that Jasper made a friend, Janie got a snack, and Greg took a much needed nap. After that, they rolled up their sleeves and did a little picking up. Well, more than a little. But then they lived happily ever after. Only now with a few more kittens. The end. That was the king of too many things. And at the end, he was satisfied with very little things because he doesn't have to clean up all the robots and superheroes and all that mess. Now that we read our book, we're going to do a song using our scarves. So in your registration bag, you got one of these scarves. If you haven't gotten it yet, you can use a scarf of your own or you can just wave your arms to the song. This song is called Wave Your Scarf. So let's sing Wave Your Scarf. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarf up and down, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarf left and right, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf fast and slow, fast and slow, fast and slow. Wave your scarf fast and slow, 
Wave your scarf, wave your scarf high and low, high and low, high and low. Wave your scarf high and low, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scarf round and round, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf, wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave your scarf, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. Bye bye, scarf. So, this is a song that you can sing during the week. You can also play peekaboo. You can throw your scarf in the air and let it flow down to the floor. You can play with your scarf however you want. And every week we're going to be doing a new song that we can learn to play with our scarves. And now that we did our scarf song, we're going to sing our last song called The Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men and he's marching them up a hill and then marching them back down again. So let's sing The Grand Old Duke of York. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up or down. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up or down. That was the grand old Duke of York. And before we leave, I'm going to show you the craft of the week. So this week we're making our very own crown. So you can be the king of too many things or the old King Cole. So you're going to make your crown. You can send us pictures on our Facebook. That way we can see your crowns. And you can play king or queen. So after you make your crown, make sure that uh, you practice your nursery rhyme of the week, which is Old King Cole. And then come back next week so we can learn a new one. So before we leave, let's sing our goodbye song. We're going to say goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye, friends. See you next week.